Hey guys, this is Freak the Nine here, and today I am here reviewing set number 76015 Doc Ock Truss Height Truck Height, sorry. Um it is ages 6 to 12 and has 237 pieces and includes three minifigures. Spider-Man? Hey Doc Ock! You can't steal this truck! Yeah, I gotta take back this truck. Jay, sorry guys for the very bad acting, but let's get right into the set review. Now I'm the king of the swingers, oh, oh the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. So here are all the minifigures in the set. From left to right, we have Spider-Man, Doc Ock, and then a police officer. Here's our first minifigure, and it's just another Spider-Man. Nothing new. Same Spider-Man that we always get. Um, same printing and everything. Really nothing new to this figure. The weakest figure in the in this whole set. Here's our next minifigure, which is just Doc Ock with his gigantic arms. Um this is probably the reason everyone's gonna buy the set is for him. I know he did he did come out the new set I think came out was was it this was it twenty seventeen or twenty sixteen? But um here's the Doc Ock. Um let me take off the, the bottom off his arm and the arms off so you can see better with his figure. Okay, so here is Doc Ock without all of his stuff on. He has amazing printing. His lab coat. He has great printing on the back. And if you see on the back, it shows where his mechanical arms go. So like the rips in his shirt for it, which is very nice. Um, his hair is like the hair that you always get for the Doc Ocks. And he does have a double-sided face. So, let's switch it around. That's his double sided face. A great minifigure overall. The last minifigure is a police officer. Um, he has just printing that I think that was in a city set. I'm sure it was. But really, nothing great with this figure if you collect city sets. If not, it's a good minifigure to have. But nothing really with this guy. Not the best printing, to be honest. Just that one printing on the front torso. That's really of this figure. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this little build right here. Um, it's like a little street light with a web. It's really nothing really, but I guess you could put Spider-Man up there. That's really it, this thing. So let's get on with the actual truck. So, um, I love this set, um, this build, it's great. It is really nice if you're if you're gonna put this in a city. Like you don't even need the minifigures, you just put this in a city. So I'm gonna get on there's a play function back here. You see all these little things. This is not actually a roof, it's not like a one plate. So you just take this and they all just fall out, which is cool. And all these have little stuff in them. Uh, this one doesn't have anything. That one's supposed to have gems, gold. What's th this one has nothing. But that's cool. Oh, there's money in there. That, it must have fell out. And then there's a little locked hatch right over here. Just pull that out. You can put stuff in. There's one on each side. And then you could take this off. Put your minifigure in. And I love this set. It's a great set overall. So I give this set... For its $20 price point, I give this set a 10 out of 10. I love this set so much. Minifigures, 10 out of 10. Love that Doc Ock. One of the best $20 Marvel sets of all time. Actually, I don't know, actually it might be the best. It depends. When I'm going to be reviewing another Spider-Man set. And I don't know, that might, I don't know if it'll beat this. But I'll give you a hint, they both have to do something with banks and money. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And please check out my other reviews, because I'm doing a brand new Marvel review every Friday, leading up to Infinity War. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later.